Good morning, everyone. It's Jennifer. Today is November the 15th, 2017. If there's any hunters out there, be safe and hope you get a deer. Good luck. Um, again, this is Jennifer, age 41, height 5'7". Um, my surgeon was Dr. David Cam of Grand Traverse Surgery Center. Surgery was at Munsing Medical Center in Traverse City, Michigan. Um, my highest weight was in June 2016 of 328 pounds. Um, the start of my six month pre-op with my primary <laughs> was January 2017. I started out at 315. At the end of my six month with her, which was in June, I was 245. So I'd lost 70 pounds in my six months. The day of surgery, I was 20 or 229.8 pounds. So overall from the highest, so June 2015 until um, August 23rd, 2017, I had lost 99 pounds the day of surgery. Last week I came to you at 196.2. This week I'm 193.6. So that's a 2.6 pound loss for the week. So since my highest, I've lost 135 pounds. That's how much I weighed when I was 17. That's crazy. I still can't, I can't fathom that. But anyhow, since surgery, I've lost 36.2 pounds. Um, a few little NSVs, um, some silly, some not. Um, my ring, I'm ringless again. <laughs> I am pretty sure it was an eight and a half or nine and it falls off. So I'm hoping, wink wink husband, that I can I can get a ring tattoo. That's my hope. Um, I don't know when. Just I'm obsessed with tattoos. It would make 27 for me. <laughs> a little information about me. I've got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> um, and this girl needs to shop for some bras. The ones I've been wearing are kind of like a sports bra and sorry TMI for any men if you're watching is my boobs like to come out the bottom. Yeah, I need some support. My girls need support. <laughs> um, anyhow, foods that I've tried this week, I try to remember, I need to write them down, but the couple that I remembered is I had um, Granny Smith apple with peanut butter. I did take the skin off. I've not tried it with skin yet. So I've tried Granny Smith apples and I've tried um, Gallia's. Those are both good. They settle real well with peanut butter. And um, skinless, I've taken the skin off. Um, another one that I tried is I picked it up at Costco and I know it's good for you, almond butter. I didn't like it. I'm so used to the Jiffy or the, the regular peanut butter. And I tried it, it was disgusting. So I brought it here to work, so at least my coworkers could use it. Um, I know it's better for you, I just can't. I'll stick with my, I think it's Jiffy Whipped. And I don't eat a lot, even when I do eat a lot. So I feel okay about it. Um, last week I went to my orthopedic doctor and um, got a shot in my knee. Um, now the old me back in, I don't remember when it was, sometime last year I went to them, but that was at my highest, so 320 some pounds, so before June. I went there and um, got a, a, a gel shot in my knee. It was a, a series of three shots and I could tell none of them were going to work. Um, and you have to wait six months to get another one. So it's going to get busy here soon at work. and. My knee's been doing okay, but I just noticed when I'm busy and I walk a lot, it hurts. So I'm like, okay, let's see if there's another option. See if now that I'm 100 and some pounds less, maybe it'll work. So last, I wanna say Thursday, I got that gel and it's called Gelsyn 3. It's G-E-L-S-Y-N 3. Um, what this is, is again, it's a gel shot, but it's like, three shots in one. So I don't have to keep going back to the doctor, which is about an hour away there and back. So um, it 
she did tell me that it's gonna hurt you know it's gonna feel like pressure um, the injection didn't hurt but definitely I felt the pressure and um, so I got that probably like nine o'clock in the morning and probably about four there must be some kind of numbing agent that goes in there because it came off or wore off and it was hurting not bad but it was enough to be like yikes that hurts <laughs> and then Friday um, it was hurt it hurt to bend I couldn't hardly bend my knee um, Saturday I had to call off work because there was gonna be no way it was gonna be busy here we had a hundred and some appointments which is quite a bit for a spa and I just knew I wasn't gonna be able to keep up so I was luckily able to find a co-worker to take my shift and um, by the end of Saturday I was feeling better Sunday all better um, I do have a little red mark and I'm assuming it's it's probably about the size of a quarter um, and then the shot mark is like right in the middle so I'm assuming this red mark that I have is from the spray if anybody had a, a shot of any sort they'll like numb your skin with a spray and then give you the shot I'm thinking it's frostbite I'm guessing it's never done that to me before um, later today I am gonna call the doctor to just make sure you know it's not puffy it's a little itchy um, but it doesn't hurt even yeah, like right now I touch it. it it itches when I touch it so I just don't touch it but um I'm thinking that's what it is um, but here at work we have um, stairs because where I work I primarily work is down the basement but we have some stairs to go upstairs and that's where the majority of the things are feels a lot better so I feel that it's taken and yeah it's only been what six days as of today but it feels a lot better last time I knew right away the, the shot wasn't gonna work um, I don't remember the name of the other shots um, it's made out of rooster like chicken rooster combs um, I'm thinking that, that that's what this one is made out of too I didn't research it I just I'm like anything give me anything cortisone shots don't work because the last one I got only lasted like three weeks so this is supposed to last six months and she did say that if I have issues I can get a cortisone shot in between um, we'll see um, obviously it doesn't help with arthritis nothing's gonna help that it's just a matter of dealing with that so um, but as far as I can definitely feel there's cushion in there because um, if you've seen my past videos you know that I've got knee issues and I have little to no cartilage in there I was told I had none but then when she did the x-ray she said there's a little in there so I know it don't grow back so I it's a different tech you know I see my orthopedic but this is like his um, assistant so I don't know I'm going on what he said and he said like six months ago seven months ago that I had none in there so I'm just going on what he said but um, what's coming up this week not much I'll see you again next Wednesday. I was going to say have a happy Thanksgiving, but I'll see you next Wednesday, so before Thanksgiving. That's something I'm kind of worried about. This is my first holiday since surgery. I was totally fine with the Halloween. And I stayed away from the candy. Um, husband had a bunch of candy. I wasn't tempted at all because I'm the fear of dumping. So I had no problem with it. But the smell of food, some foods set me off, um, make me nauseous. So I'm kind of worried about that. And also, what am I going to be able to eat? Um, I'm going to be taking a keto-friendly um, green bean casserole and making a cheese ball. Um, so, I'm trying to remember the green bean casserole. It's on Pinterest if you want to look it up. But excuse me, um, it's got green beans, cream cheese, soy sauce, gluten-free soy sauce. You know I'm forgetting something else. It's real simple, really, really simple. And um, and then cheese ball. I'm sure you've all made cheese ball. It's on Pinterest as well. It's bacon cheddar. Um, so it's cheddar, bacon, cream cheese, ranch, like the powder ranch. First time I ever made a, a ball. <laughs> um, in my opinion, the green beans and the cheese ball were really salty. But again, I'm not one for salt. Um, and I'm sure because my taste buds have changed that things are just more 
enhanced. Husband likes it. He thinks it'll be good for the party. So at least I've got that. I'm going to try turkey. I have a feeling it's going to stick just like chicken, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, can't have the rolls. Can't have the pies. That's okay. I don't want to get sick, <laughs> but I am kind of nervous because some of the family members know that I've had surgery, but haven't seen me. And it's not like I'm shy. Hello, you know, I'm on YouTube doing videos. So I'm not shy about telling people about it, but the awkward looks or the people looking and not asking. That's my biggest thing I hate is I hate people looking and be like, I know something's different, but what's different? Come talk to me. <laughs> Anyhow, I've yammered for 10 minutes now, so I'll see you next Wednesday. Have a great week. Bye-bye.